Hey y'all. So I did not record an introduction the day of the appointment because I was I had a lot of things to do that day, but this is an introduction now. Um, and basically I just want to let you all know that this vlog, it will be over a course of time and um, I will be vlogging my experience getting laser hair removal and I will be getting a Brazilian laser hair removal. And if that goes well, then I will also get my underarms done. In this video, I will take you all to my first appointment with me and then maybe a few sessions after that. The sessions are kind of far apart, so we will see about that. Um, and then I'll just kind of describe why I chose to get laser hair removal, how I narrowed down what place I wanted to get it done at, and just kind of some things you should know about laser hair removal. I am, of course, by no means a doctor, a... Um, expert on this but i have done my own research because it, it's something i'm doing to my body i want to know what's going on and what i need to prepare for it my body is real sensitive period so i can't just go and do everything so i have looked into this a lot so some of these things are things i've looked into and i've um learned with my own research as well as just consulting with the physician one of the main things i will say is that laser hair removal um from what i have been told and what i have researched is that laser hair removal works best on darker and coarser hairs and hair with more melanin in it period so like if the hair is gray or white or even like red it's not gonna work as well because it's gonna be hard for the laser to pick up where that hair is because the purpose of it is for the laser to target the hair follicle and basically fry it like to destroy it so the hair won't come back so yes, this is laser hair removal. It's using a laser to get rid of the hair. Um, and for women with more melanin in their skin, it's recommended a special kind of laser and it's called a YAG laser, Y-A-G, a YAG laser. Um, and the person who is doing your laser hair removal should know what that is and they should offer that. And if they don't offer that and you are a woman with more melanin in your skin, then I think you should look for somewhere else to go that does have that because it will affect the pigmentation. Um, why I chose to do laser hair removal is because I have, well, I've always thought about laser hair removal because I'm not really the biggest fan of shaving and I, I do prefer waxing over shaving, but if I could go even longer, like why not, you know, and my hair is, I'm not a super hairy person, but, um, I do have thick hair, like where I have hair it is pretty thick and I just have a lot of hair, like, mm, just how my cookie crumbled. I don't know. I ain't mad at though. I don't want to be bald. <laughs> but um so yeah i've always been interested in looking at laser hair removal but why i definitely was pushed for it and am doing it sooner than later is because maybe i don't even know how long it's been now maybe five yeah probably like five years now i got diagnosed with this skin condition and i I'm gonna try to pronounce it, but I will put the name down here because I know I'm gonna fumble this bag, but <laughs> it's called hydradenitis separativa. Um, and it is kind of like a disorder basically with your hair follicles and it causes, it's kind of like a form of acne. It causes like different, maybe like lumps and um, just like irritation in areas where there's a lot of friction and where hair grows and also where you're, prone to sweating a lot. I don't have a chronic form of it. Mine is a more mild case, but it's still, um, it's just not comfortable. And it kind of makes me personally feel a little insecure. So since this targets the hair follicles and literally destroys it, and this, what I, the condition I have is sort of a condition or disorder with the hair follicles, this laser hair removal um, is a possibility that it could help. So the fact that I already wanted laser hair removal and then it might help my skin condition, I'm like, sign me up. So that is why I chose to get laser hair removal. And y'all be going on this experience with me. Um, I just had my consultation, like I said, Saturday. And everybody there was very friendly. It was only two people, the receptionist and the doctor. It was a Saturday. I don't know if it's always that calm. So I started looking at um, different companies or um, like different spas and just practices that did laser hair removal. And was like, wait, my dermatologist did bring this up at one point and said this was an option. So I did ask her and she gave me um, a doctor that she recommended. Just like waiting up to my consultation, I looked up the doctor, looked up reviews about her. She had excellent reviews. And when I met her, she was so friendly and so nice. Like she made me feel so comfortable. And she's been doing this for a while. So like, 
it was nothing for me personally to feel anxious about. I literally showed her my skin that day and she was like, no, this is fine. And told me like what our plan was gonna be to get the results we were looking for. It's 9 a.m. I just got here. I'll let y'all know how long it takes. I've already done like a little test strip on my ear when I came for my consultation. It did not feel bad at all on a level of one to 10. My pain was really like, I wanna say one, cause I didn't even know she was doing it y'all, but I do have a higher pain tolerance. So y'all just take that how y'all wanna take that. I don't know. It wasn't that bad to me. So I'm really excited for today. And I'm gonna talk some more when I get out of here so I can talk louder. Yes, yesterday was session one. And at the consultation, she did like a small test patch behind my ear on my neck right here, just to see if I would have any reaction to it. And I did not. And when she was doing it, I'm like, you know, let me know when you start. So, you know, be prepared. She's like, oh, like I've been doing it. Like, and if you don't feel it like that's great. And I'm like, period, like, okay, I just didn't feel that. So I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to get this done. So yesterday when I actually got it done on my actual private area, um, baby, it was a different experience. <laughs> Like it, I definitely felt that. And I will say it was the least intense up top, like right underneath my stomach. But when you start getting closer to your labia, it was getting, she said it was spicy. And I'm like, period, because it is, it is getting spicy. Every time we kept getting lower, she's like, okay, it's about to get real spicy now. So <laughs> it was spicy at the bottom. I will say that it was getting a little spicy at the bottom. But other than that, it was, fine and um so if y'all don't know like a brazilian they're just like a brazilian in a bikini brazilian they're gonna do a butt strip too so i got my butt done too and um the butt was fine like i didn't even feel her doing it and she described it as a hot rubber band pop so you know how somebody like pulls rubber band and pop you with it that's what it feels like and that i think that's the accurate representation that is what it feels like there's different measures they take to soothe it um she did offer me a numbing cream beforehand when i was at the consultation she would have had to got it prescribed to me and i would have to pick it up but i was like no it's fine especially she did on my neck i'm like no it's fine um i still think it's not that deep to get the numbing cream only because y'all no lie the session was like 10 minutes like it was so fast i thought it was gonna be like a wax or something and, i mean a wax is kind of fast too but it was even faster than a wax but they can only go over the area once because they don't want to give you a burn for the laser and then during it of course we wear like sunglasses protect your eyes from the laser she gave me a cool pack as well as i don't know where this was connected to but something was blowing cool air so all of this is just kind of help ease the pain so you can just hold the cool air wherever you want as close as you want while they're doing that um, procedure, as well as a like a little cover up. So I just undressed from waist down and I put a cover up on and she just got into it. I feel like I did have just a little bit of redness after, maybe a little bit of, it looked a little poofy, like a little swollen, not really, just like, like it was a little irritated. It was like swollen, but she did tell me that if it is, I'm feeling really irritated, I can take an antihistamine or like a Benadryl or something, so. I didn't need one though. I was fine, like it wasn't uncomfortable. People have also been asking about pricing. Um, so at the specific place I went to, Timeless Skin Solutions. She has worked with my skin condition before. So um, at the consultation, she just looked over everything to see like what I would be charged for. I did just get a Brazilian. And she said typically a Brazilian takes eight to 10 passes um, or sessions, I guess. When the hair grows back, it doesn't like kill all the hair follicles at once. like. You have to do a few sessions and each time it should get more and more patchy. If you buy like a package, a package has five sessions for the Brazilian laser hair removal for this company was $960. And I think if you bought them individually, it might've been like around a thousand maybe total. Like you would just save some money buying it as a package. I just bought it as a package just to get out the way. But she said after this, after we're done with this package, we'll just see what it's looking like and just kind of go from there. If you have a more chronic case, you know, it's, it's really intense. It probably will help. I just don't know how much of it is it going to decrease. But like I said, it's the first session and I'm probably not gonna do a vlog specifically on hair removal again, unless people request it, but I probably will vlog and just be vlogging one weekend and happen to have a um, session and I'll let y'all know. Just update y'all what's going on. Um, I think I've hit all the points, but if you all have any more questions, please feel free to comment below and I will 
try my best to be as helpful as possible. And if you have this skin condition, I would recommend this, looking into it at least, um, if this is something that you can afford and you know, you think it might help you. I would say it's worth looking into. I am really excited. Like I really think this is gonna help my skin and I'm so excited to see the results y'all. Like it's only one session and I got so many more. Like I'm so excited. And then she also did say that she will prescribe me some, just like some lightening cream when this is over to help with like previous scars I've had or in any areas where I can just lighten it up. So y'all might see me in a thong bikini this night. So, <laughs> but um, no, I'm really excited though. My skin, I'm really helpful. And, but like I, I will say though, I do have a very, once again, I have a very mild case of this condition. So I'm so excited.